against you yourself. Your own work will cry out against you. Jesus said, I did not come to the world to condemn the world, but that the world through me might be saved. Your life you come to the and you stand up for Why? your neighbors. Because they're mocked. And those are our neighbors right here. That's what that's what that's what the greatest law said. Love the Lord your God and love your neighbors as yourself. And those are our neighbors. And you are our neighbors. That's why we're talking with you right now. <laughs> See? So, so back to the What about the of the Yeah, right. They make a living here killing and dismembering babies. Have you thought of that? Yeah, that's what happened here. They make it nice and fancy. It's like they having a nice, it's like having an old car and putting nice stuff wrapping around it. You'd never know it's, it's, it's rotten on the inside. That's dumb. Why would you want to kill yourself? Self, that, and that's part of sin. We all have sin. All of us here are sinners. You know, we might, we, you know, we have different sins. But you know what? When Christ rules in the heart, we recognize that we're sinners. And we ask for repentance. And we stop doing repentance. And to turn away and to stop doing the, the sin, the evil that you're doing. And that's and that's why we're here. We see the sin because of God's grace, and we are here warning people like you and like them. You know, whether you're covered, whether you're a liar, whether you're a thief, even thieves, murderers, and idolaters, sexual immoral. All we have their, their part in the lake of fire. But we're here by God's grace as Christians Ray because we've seen that we're sinners. Right. We're here telling them the truth and we're telling you the truth as well. You like the murder of all. So he How does long do you guys stay out here for? We stay as long as the Lord leads. <laughs> we make time, we put time. Like I said, we don't want to be here. You know, this is a depressing, dark place. But if you love, if you love your neighbors, if you love the young folks like you. When I was young, I was young just like you. You know, there are many mistakes I made as a, as a young man. If I could go back in time, I'd, I'll tell myself, you know, I'd slap myself across the face and wake up. <laughs> that's silly. Don't do that. You look back now. So that's why we're here. Talk to them. Talk to you. Whether you're 15, 19, or 15, whether you're 15, 16, or whether you're 45 or 55, like that's why we're here. So let me let me connect the dots just a little bit for you guys. Uh, as young men, right? I'm not a young man anymore. I'm a little older, but. But uh, we, we think we can have sex with a girl, and there's no consequences, right? Um, well, young men have sex with girls, and they, they use those girls. They say, I love you, whatever, but they don't really love them, right? They have sex with them, then they bring them here to murder the baby. Because the, the boy or the man doesn't want to be responsible for the child. He doesn't want to be a father. But the problem is, once the woman is pregnant, he is a father, and she's a mother. And murder is never an option, right? To, to get out of being a father, I don't get to murder my children. My children are all grown now. They're older than you guys. I have grandchildren, right? Murder is never an option to get out of being a father. Whether they're born or unborn children, they're children created in God's image, and they're precious. And if I truly love that girl, the girl I say I love to have sex with, right? I love you, I love you. If I truly love her, would I murder the child or tell her to murder our child, the child that's the genetic mix of mother and father? No, I'd say, hey, we need to take care of this. We, we need to raise this child we need to love our child you know I'll, I'll marry you i should have married you in the in the first place See, that, that's the thing is in god's design sex is for marriage right to celebrate the marriage relationship and then to have children as a husband and wife and you can provide for them but we use sex for fun and we we tell women we love them in order to get them to have sex with us and then we we bring them here to murder our children and so while the mothers are accountable for murdering their children they are it, it's we men right we're accountable because we used the women as, as ultimately sex toys and then brought them here to murder our own children so don't become that man one day all right sex is for marriage it's beautiful in marriage i, I describe sex as like nuclear power you, you know what a nuclear bomb does nuclear bombs destroy right if a nuclear bomb goes off in portland portland's gone <laughs> right but a nuclear power plant outside of Portland can do what? Power the entire city. So sex inside marriage is like a nuclear power plant. There's power there. It builds. It produces life. It's, it's beautiful in marriage. Outside of marriage, it destroys. The, the Bible is clear that the wage of sin is death. And so whatever the sin is, whether it's sexual sin, whether it's hate, whether it's theft, the wage of sin is death. And, and so I, I counsel you guys out of love. Wait for marriage, right? Wait for marriage. Don't don't treat 
girls, especially if you really feel like you love them, don't treat them as a sex toy. And don't ever, ever bring one to a place like this to murder your own baby and her baby and to make her the mother of a murdered child and you the father of a murdered child. All right, we love you guys. We're glad you stopped by. It's good talking. You dropped that track, it's very important. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Um, very important message. Want to see you in heaven one day? Look to Jesus Christ, my friends. Follow him, follow him. Take care, thanks for stopping. <laughs> Man to die once and after this a judgment. Thank you. Oh yeah. Don't die in your sins, dear friends. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. Look to Jesus Christ.